Living with sound is something most people take for granted. But in Australia alone, one child in 500 is born with a hearing impairment. Jonathan Olesk is one of those children. And this is Jonathan's story. This is Jonathan. He's the second child of my friends, Ray and Angie Olesk, and a brother to Sophie. Jonathan's 11 months old, but two months ago, he had life-changing bilateral cochlear implant surgery. With the help of Jonathan's audiologist, we'd like to show you how much his life has changed. Before his cochlear implant, this is what Jonathan could hear. And this is how he hears the world today. Yes. No, they are going to sleep, that's right. One, For the very first time, he can clearly hear the voices of his family and the world around him. For Ray and Angela, the journey from Jonathan's birth to today has been an emotional one. But they know that without the miracle of cochlear implantation, their family's future would have been much more difficult. Hey guys, how are you going? Good. Good. Uh, thanks for sitting down with us today and have a bit of a chat about Jonathan. Um, I thought we might start right at the beginning. So tell us about when you first found out about Jonathan's hearing impairment. Um, I guess the initial indication that we had that something was wrong was uh, the morning after Jonathan was born. He um, had an early screening test done at the hospital um, and that he didn't fail the test, but he had both ears referred. So guys, tell me about your feelings when you found out uh, about Jonathan's hearing impairment. Um, yeah, I guess that's right. You just want your babies, you know, any child that's, that's born, you just want them to be healthy. And uh, um, I guess when there was the concerns that his hearing might be impaired, that, uh, um, yeah, it was obviously a little distressing and uh, just wanted it to be okay, I guess. The Hear and Say Centre at Orkinflower helps children who are deaf or hearing impaired to listen and speak. Jonathan will attend the centre until he is old enough to attend primary school. Jackie Brown is an auditory verbal therapist who works with children and their parents during weekly sessions. We do extra training so that we um, uh, can teach children and teach the parents who have children with a hearing loss to learn to use their hearing so that they can listen and speak. The cochlear implant is a wonderful invention. What it's meant is that for children who have a severe to profound hearing loss, which is what Jonathan has, um, hearing aids in the past wouldn't give them enough hearing to be able to give them good spoken language and very clear speech. But the cochlear implant now is able to work, has a rather, um, I suppose, special type of hearing aid. It's a miracle, it really is. The miracle is no more evident than at the session where they switch on the implant for the very first time. Good boy! Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, Frog. Good boy. Good listening. Hi, Pink. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Jonathan. Whoa. It's different, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> For Ray, Angie and Sophie, the cochlear implantation procedure has forever changed home life with Jonathan. Yeah, sunshine. Oh. He's been the most wonderful, easy baby. Like, he's got the most beautiful nature about him. He's, he personally has just coped with every situation that he's been in just so well. He's actually made it really easy. He's really bright, really interested in things, but at the same time he's... He can be really content as well. Like you, you couldn't ask for an easier child. I think Jonathan's got a very bright future, and it just depends on whether he's a child who wants to learn or not. I think the rest is a lot of it's up to him now. Does Jonathan wear some special things on his head? What are they called? Um, earrings. They're his ears? Yeah. Right. And what do, why does he have ears on his head? Daddy. Right. And whose baby is Jonathan? Sophie's. Sophie's baby. Are you sure? 